Welcome to another practice problem session for the unit Stand Your Ground. This is uh, practice problem one on weathering. In this unit, we're going to be taking a look at how the ground is formed through the action of weathering. So if you follow along on chapter two, section one, this is directed reading. So basically, right as you go through the chapter reading, if you follow along, you can complete this practice problem set at the same time. So we have a word bank at the top, and then we have sort of a long paragraph, and we're just going to read that. Weathering is the surface process that works to break down rock. There are two main types of weathering. The weathering that occurs when rocks are broken apart by physical process is mechanical weathering. When water enters, cracks the rocks, freezes, expands, breaks apart, it's called ice weathering wedging. So we're looking for ice wedging. In another type of mechanical or physical weathering, plant, uh, what things, plant roots, plant roots seeking water and nutrients sometimes grow into the cracks of the rocks, breaking them apart. Blank weathering occurs when chemical reaction. So now we're at chemical weathering. So chemical weathering occurs when chemical actions, uh, reactions dissolve the minerals. Those are the things that make up the rock, minerals in rock, and break them into different minerals. So with physical or mechanical weathering, we've got the same thing. They're just cracked or broken, whereas in chemical weathering, we've got actual new and different minerals. For example, when water mixes with carbon dioxide gas in the air, a weak acid called carbonic acid forms. This acid dissolves minerals such as calcite, which is a typical mineral in rock. When minerals containing iron are exposed to water and the oxygen, which is around us all the time, so oxygen in the air, a new mineral may form that is very much like rust. This process, because it involves oxygen, is called oxidation. The rate of weathering is affected by, and this also is out of the book, but also on the note, it's affected by the climate. Chemical weathering occurs more quickly in tropical areas, such as parts of South America. In deserts, chemical weathering occurs because there's a lack of what we have in northern and uh, tropical climates. That's a lack of moisture. So moisture is very important for weathering. And again, those are right on the notes. In this case, the weather weathering includes mechanical weathering and chemical weathering. Mechanical weathering is when it breaks or cracks by a physical process, but it doesn't change. Whereas chemical weathering occurs in the chemical process where there's a dos uh, dissolving of minerals and something new is formed. So we're going to put an M for mechanical weathering and a C for chemicals. So what we're going to really look for here is things that would indicate cracking or indicate um, change, like a, a chemical change. So wedging of tree roots would be mechanical, whereas limestone dissolving would be chemical. Oxidation would be something that occurs in a chemical way. Animals digging rocks would be mechanical. Freezing and thawing, again, a crack is mechanical, whereas the action of salt and water causes rust is a chemical. Acids breaking up the rocks are chemicals that break it up, whereas potholes formed by expansion of water in the wintertime, freezing and thawing in the road, is a mechanical. Raised sections, simply moving them is a physical process, whereas small rocks falling off a cliff are also simply breaking or cracking. Feldspar producing new mineral would be a chemical reaction, whereas halite in a dissolving, anytime we see the word dissolving, is also going to be chemical. Decaying plants dissolving the rocks, again, 
chemical, where tree roots cracking would be mechanical. Iron lawn furniture is rusting, is chemical. Car oh, more rapid and tropical, where there's warm and wet, would be chemical. And carbonic acid weathering the limestone, acid, chemical. And leaves decaying, decaying or rotting, is chemical. So as we can see, anything that has to do with change of the chemical makeup is chemical weathering and anything to do with the physical change is mechanical weathering. Take a look at your books, make sure you look over your notes, and this shouldn't be too hard.